Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4, and today you are being briefed on SCP-021. Congratulations on your assignment. Let's begin. Item number SCP-021, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-021 is an obligate parasite of the human body. Containment, therefore, is no more difficult than containing an adult human. Most cells will suffice. Item is currently housed in detention cell 217A on subject D139. Only Class D personnel are eligible for hosting SCP-021. As long as a given subject survives as a host for SCP-021, he is exempt from normal monthly terminations of D-Class personnel. Description. SCP-021 takes the form of a large and elaborate tattoo of a serpentine dragon in the oriental style, covering approximately 0.8 square meters of skin. This tattoo is fully animate within the confines of its host's skin and behaves largely as a normal animal would, albeit only in two dimensions. The tattoo's movement causes constant pain to its host, comparable and similar in character to simultaneous tattooing and tattoo removal on a large scale. The organism tends to spend most of its time on and near the torso. SCP-021 displays no intelligence beyond a basic pattern of feeding and locomotion, although actually measuring the intelligence of a two-dimensional life form has proven impossible thus far. SCP-021 appears to feed exclusively on pigments in the host's skin. This can include melanin, in which case the subject appears to be suffering from vitiligo. However, the organism shows a marked preference for other tattoos and will seek out and devour these before resorting to natural pigments. It should be noted that the feeding process itself, beyond the sensation of movement, is painless. Normal tattoo ink simply vanishes and is eaten. The organism maintains a constant size and no excretions have been observed. The organism is capable of clearing over 0.6 square meters of skin per hour. One may feed SCP-021 by quickly tattooing fruits or small animals on the host. SCP-021 can be transferred between hosts by various forms of physical contact with differing rates of success. In the case of successful transfer, the organism simply swims from one person to the other. Sexual intercourse appears to be the most reliable method of transfer with a 93% rate of transmission. However, due to the severe pain involved, this is less than ideal. Contact between two open wounds is generally preferable. Transfer is more complicated in deceased subjects, though not unreasonably so. The organism suffers no ill effects from the death of its host and continues to consume pigments. Transmission between species is unknown. Previous tests suggest it to be either impossible or exceedingly rare. SCP-21 does confer some benefits to its host. The tattoo has been proven to accelerate the release and reuptake of epinephrine and decrease lactic acid buildup, providing boosts of strength, confidence, and pain tolerance in stressful situations and reducing the usual after effects of weakness and fatigue. In addition, the tattoo seems to have some beneficial effect on the host's immune system. Aggression profiles in hosts are generally higher than average, though whether this is a direct effect of the tattoo or simply a reaction to the constant pain remains to be seen. The symbiotic relationship is usually limited by how long the host can tolerate such pain in everyday life. This has culminated in suicide in a number of subjects. In rare cases, hosts have also fallen victim to fatal skin infections. SCP-21's origins and nature are a mystery. Tracing its transmission from host to host is hardly feasible within the confines of secrecy, and the organism could well be hundreds of years old, if not more. Nevertheless, SCP-21's captivity is one of the longest in the Foundation's history at nearly, that expunged, years, and has been very educational thus far. Current research focuses mainly on observing the characteristics of life in two dimensions. And that concludes your briefing on SCP-021, the moving tattoo. 
As the article suggested, your research is primarily going to be focused on life in two dimensions and uh, interactivity between two dimensions and three dimensions, which has thus far been impossible uh, directly. So remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that they may live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, uh, subscribe, and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.